Hi, this video we're going to be talking about free body diagram, uh, also known as FBD. Uh, FBD is a tool, it can be used for physics and engineering, and uh, it's particularly used when we study statics and strength material. And it's basically a graphical display showing an object that all the forces that's acting on it. So you basically draw the magnitude of the force and the direction of the force. So it's a vector diagram. So that's FBD. For example, here I'm gonna see if there's a if see if this is a chandelier here, and it's pulled tethered by two ropes here. And so if we were to draw this FBD, what would it look like? So first of all, we're gonna consider, uh, we're gonna condense this chandelier just to be one dot, just to be easier. So what force is acting on this? Well, inevitably there is a weight, right? So that's a weight of chandelier. And there are two forces pulling tension in this rope. So those are the tension one and the tension two. And that's all the forces acting at this chandelier. That's the FBD. Um, then if you know the weight, for example, weight is 10 Newton, you can draw it over here. And if you need to find out the tension in this rope, so you will find those two unknown tension. So that's FBD. And this is a tool that help us to find the unknowns in equilibrium problem. Let's look at another example. For example, I have a slanted surface and I have a block here. And if we were trying to draw the FBD on this block, and this block has a tension here, somebody's pulling it up, okay? So we're gonna call this, uh, if we call T as a tension. So let's draw all the forces acting on this block. First of all, again, it has weight. Then this block is set on this slanted surface and there will be a supporting surface, a supporting force, or we call normal force. We know normal force is always perpendicular to the surface, right? So because of that, we'll have normal force going straight upward, perpendicular to the slanted surface, we call N, short for normal force. And we also already know there is a tension here and if this surface right here is going to uh, have some roughness, I mean, so in that situation, you will have pulling back. What do we call that? That's going to be friction force, right? So that's all the forces acting on this block. And all those for forces will together show on your FBD diagram. Okay. Now, hopefully that gave you some idea about how to draw FBD. Um, so next video, we'll start to, uh, using FBD to, to solve the 2D equilibrium problem. Okay, I'll see you next one. Bye.